Most of us have a very limited acquaintance with amphibians. We may hear the high-pitched trilling of an American toad. Or catch a glimpse of tadpoles in a pond. Sometimes we might see a tree frog whose coloring makes it hard to distinguish it from the leaves or bark of a tree. For the most part, amphibians are shy animals. Many stay hidden in the water of a pond or in the soil and leaves of the ground. So it is little wonder that few people are aware of the amazing variety of amphibians in the way that we recognize the diversity of more visible animals like birds or mammals or even reptiles. In some ways, amphibians are similar to these more familiar creatures. Like birds, mammals, reptiles, and fish, amphibians are vertebrates. Being a vertebrate means that you have a backbone. Mammals and birds, however, are warm-blooded. This means they generate their own heat and maintain a fairly constant internal body temperature. Amphibians and reptiles, such as this alligator, are cold-blooded. A cold-blooded animal's internal temperature varies with the temperature of its environment. However, there are important differences between reptiles and amphibians. Reptiles, like this Galapagos tortoise, have scales that cover their skin. With minor exceptions, amphibians have a naked skin that is thin and exposed. Their naked skin distinguishes amphibians also from birds, which have feathers, and mammals, which have hair. <laughs> 